Scotch Test Dummies with Scott and Bart. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. Ooh, I'm Scott. Bart here. Tall one. Beard. We're back. We haven't been here for a while. Ooh, we'll been, explain why. Been hiatus. But hiatus. we've got Orphan Barrel Muckety Muck, muck. coming at you. I want to say like Muckety Muck, don't talk back, but I know that's different. And we're going to test it. Doesn't stop. Kind of like your ability to taste. Orphan Barrel, Muckety Muck style. <laughs> all right, we're back. So first of all, I haven't been able to yell test it in like Little. two months. Oh, it's, no. Do Longer. your math. Well, I know, but I think I yelled it once in one of my oh. blinds. But it, it was okay. weak and without you present. Thanks for the do the math comment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do the math, dummy. <laughs> but... Yeah, when I said it and you weren't here, I was like, test it! And it just kind of fell flat. I was like, I don't know, it doesn't seem right. If I get it done, there should have been a slide at the beginning. No. Disclaimer, I have long-lasting <laughs> COVID effects. I still cannot taste and smell mm. after, it's about four and a half months now. Late October, I think my positive test came back October 28th. I think it's more than four and a half months. Yeah. November, December, January, February, almost five. That's what I'm saying. Almost five months. Do, Do the math. <laughs> so, see synergy. My taste is actually about. I put it at fifty percent. My smell is really the hindrance. It just my smell has not has not returned. Mm. I can tell. I still have like inflammation in my mm. nose. It's just kind of still swollen up in here, mm. and my finger can't reach it, so oh. I can't clear it out. Oh. <laughs> That'd be a tough try. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. I'm pouring, and I poured him a little bit less than mine. I'm like, ooh, I'm not trying to short you. Switch. He goes, come on. Probably can't taste it anyway. I was yeah. like, oh. I don't need that much. Oh. Now, but, oh. but, I told Bart, I just got with Bart last yeah. week, I said we need to get together and film. Get it Even in. though I've been waiting for my senses yes. to come back, right. we can wait no longer. He's senseless, basically. We need to film. <laughs> we need to get some reviews yes. out. You're going to have to trust Bart mainly. Fully I hate to say that. Competently trust me. I'll give what Fully. I'm getting. Yeah, he'll check it. If I say it tastes like a pirate ship on fire in a rough sea, maybe he'll call shenanigans. Possibly. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. The alliteration. I thought I was coming along pretty good, but the wife, so the wife has been pouring me bland, 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 blind samples here and there yes. to test me. You were the other night, some. Yeah, the other night, um, I thought I had a cask strength cherry bomb. Mm. It was Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Oh, Lord have mercy. So yeah, I had the cast it. strength. I had the mouth Ooh. feel kind of. I mean, you knew it was, it was strong. I knew it had a lot of flavor. There's a lot of depth to it, but I couldn't. It really it felt like a like a tam. I thought it was Tam Dew wow. batch strength or McCallum. Did you post that strength. one up yet? Because I no, I didn't film that. Okay. One. Oh, oh, that would have been. I really, I wasn't getting anywhere with okay. the with the films, and I, I can like tell. Them. I like them. People, they get a lot of views because people are watching your. Yeah, program. I know. They're watching your pain. But that's part of why, too. I'm like, hey, let's just get together. Let's start doing some reviews. Let's like do some it. filming because we need to. We've had. By the way, 2020, Ooh, yeah. say farewell to 2020 coins. We, we have. can't show you the backside of it. It's the lone soldier. You can probably see him on some social Maybe. media posts. Yes. If you go to our web page and go to the merch site, you'll see it there. We could get defunded if you were to see what's on the other side of this coin. But it's our single salute. You could. I don't know if that's. We could. Do, well, you mean uh, demonetized? Sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah. Not defunded. Yeah, I don't know if that would do it. I think people give the finger. Just the like, finger? We're not no. saying that's what's on the backside. <laughs> but if it was, it could be. You can go take a I look. See what you think. I don't know. We, we try to stay neutral and kind of clean. But our salute to 2020, that's it. All right. Now, I'll let you talk first. We poured this in the glass a little bit before we started filming. I get absolutely nothing. Up. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely nothing on the nose. Huh, I get a little bit of honey. There's something uh, like a touch of cherry. Uh, so it says it's a single grain. Mm -hmm. This is a 24 year old single yes. grain whiskey from Port single Dundas. Single grain Scott, Scotch whiskey from Port Dundas. 
they did have the other scotch. We had to look it up. Couldn't remember the name of it. It was Forager's Keep. 26-year-old malt. Single, Single malt. malt. Yes. And I forget what distillery that was from. So, honeys, but I'm getting, and again, cherry, and then I get a little bit of like a sour wood in there, but there's something else, which I, is where you would have been good in the past. I can barely tell there's whiskey in the glass. <laughs> And that's probably the 45% ABV. Um, higher ABVs, my nose will tell me something's there. But You know what? I get a touch of like a, and this is going to sound weird, but when you're at the amusement park, I had a, a blueberry cotton candy once. So it's that spun sugar, but with a touch of blueberry. Of course, the cotton candy is a fake blueberry flavoring, if you didn't know that. <laughs> so... That's what I get here. I get a touch of vanilla on the nose. Mm -hmm. A lot of your older single grain whiskeys really have a really nice sweet vanilla note to it. I'm getting the vanilla here. Ooh. And that's really about it. A little bit of the sweetness and vanilla. Mm. And there's some tangerine here on the taste too. But yeah, a little bit of tropical fruit you can get yeah. sometimes with the older single grains. Yeah, I got a tropical tangerine. Wow. Mm. Maybe, how about, a, how about a banana? Nope. Nope. Full tangerine. Matter of fact, well, the wife, Liz, loves this tangerine trident gum. I'm not always a fan of the gum, but this has a little bit of that flavor in there, that tangerine mm. kicker. Mm. Maybe I get a touch of the tropicalness, but... Well, it's good. Sweetness, uh, sugar sweetness, I was, and slight vanilla, vanilla cream. Yeah. I was expecting more vanilla honey, and when that tangerine hit me right on the forefront, the finish lingers tangerine citrus. Definitely, all the way through. Now, I think what'll be good here also is what you should see is the slow uh, progression of my taste buds coming back. Right. right. Hopefully, you did get now the shot. Yes, but the only I've got the first, first one. Right. Moderna. Moderna. Okay, you and get the Moderna, not the Pfizer. Yeah. Did you get the work one? Nope. Or are you? Nope. I got it the hard way. Yeah. So did you? <laughs> well, yeah. I've been well, studying the UK. The UK is studying their folks that have had it. And the first thing they did was come out and said, hey, so far those that have had it are showing, you're not immune, but you're showing mm -hmm. a high amount of immunity similar to the shots. And they were worried early on about the supply of the shots mm. so they originally said hold off a bit if you've had it but they still suggest you get at least one of the shots but some people have noticed after they get the vaccination that the those lost senses come back so I'm that's what that. we're hoping for yeah and i had a buddy at work everybody was sailing through fine but he had had covid when he got the shot it like hit him hard again he mm. was like that was a little bit of the part where i was like mm, we may hold a bit so he was like oh so, I was a little afraid. You know, I get something else. Maybe it's like a, it almost smells like the, uh, like they just dumped the barrel. And the barrel sitting there has that wet wood with the whiskey kind of combined with it. So, I don't know what else to, it's almost like a little bit of a musky wet wood smell that's there as well. Huh. But, that tangerine on the taste tangerine on the taste the, the mouthfeel seems good on this one <laughs> mm. so um now go into real quick though how you got this bottle right so um my folks go down to texas during the winter they do not want to be around here for the cold and so i watched their house and they call them snowbirds yep snowbirds they go down to uh, like mcallen texas head south yes and uh then mom will usually call me from a big liquor store somewhere in texas and then send photos and go what about this and i'll be like mm, that one because she said this was over 200 but she won't tell me the figure so i don't know because it was a gifted bottle and she was nervous and delivering it wanted to get it out of her hands as quick as possible she figured she would drop it and break it mm. so but i don't know the exact cost but they kind of buy this for you as for they watching do. their house right. while they're gone yep. the, the yamasaki 18 was the first time they bought something i was like hello because we're working man we can't afford to head south for the winter they feel right. sorry for you having oh, to and stay I help here. them out 
I, I watch the house. Like poor Bart has yeah. to stay in the cold. Let's yep. get him a whiskey while we're gone. Uh, that's right. They know it's a hit no matter what they get. So I do know this is uh, this was actually the the the, uh, the 26 year old single malt was pretty high priced. That was a five hundred dollar bottle. Ooh. These were more reasonable. Uh, Two hundred and fifty range is what you would normally see these for. Yeah, she said the so. guy that owned the liquor store had seen our show and cut her a bit of a break because I I told her don't spend that much. Mm. And then she said no, nope, but wouldn't tell me what. That's she where spent. you also got the Yamazaki eighteen from years ago. Right, we got that back. before it went crazy, but it was yeah. still pricey. It was in the two twenties, I think. Yeah, yeah, great price. Yeah, for it then. yeah. So, even now, that'd be a great right, price for it. Definitely. <laughs> I said a hundred percent get that. So, uh, I know you don't want to score it. If I scored this, the tangerines are coming in. Um, 89 for me. It's good. I, actually, I would agree with that on the mouthfeel. Okay, there you go. I think. Uh, uh, it's very nice. I think I still score a little rough. I actually thought it might transition more, and who knows, as we get down through the bottle, maybe I bet it, it will. will. I bet it will. Yeah, right now it's tangerine all the way through. It's tasty. It's good. Uh, great bottle. Like it. And I know I score a little bit on the lower side of everything. Yeah, yeah trust him. Yep. For trust now. Trust me, tangerine, baby. Scotch it. <laughs> you scotch guys. Thanks for tuning in again. Thanks for coming back. Give me back. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.